No, I do actually because I I get the tattoo once I've uh, I've straightened out the uh, the book contract. I really like tattoos. My grandfather Francis was uh, served in the Royal Navy during World War II, and of course he had both his arms covered in um, in. By the time I was old enough to see them, they were sort of a mottled, faded blue. The, the ink had begun to migrate. But there was a bulldog. There was a Union Jack. There was a, I believe he had one of the Princess Elizabeth actually, who who, who of course is, um, is is now queen. And all I could think was, well, my mother had always told myself and my sister not to ask him questions about the war because it was generally such a horrific experience. Every now and then he'd offer us up a funny story, but he 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 didn't talk about it. But I couldn't help thinking that each one of these tattoos, these marks on his arms. There was a story behind it. He'd gotten shore leave, he'd gotten drunk with his buddies, they all went and got this tattoo, or perhaps the tattoo really meant something. I, I expect they all meant something to him. So as, um, as, as, as an art form, as, as, as body modification goes, I, 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 I find tattooing absolutely fascinating. Um, knew, knew when I was a little girl I wanted to have some of my own. My parents were horrified at the idea, and uh, um, I didn't really talk about it much with them. Once... Um, I kept telling myself I, want, I wanted to eat each one to uh, to be to mean something to me if I was going to go have, uh, was going to allow somebody to stab my skin and, and deposit ink because they do hurt. And uh, so for the uh, my first book, I actually had had my grandfather in mind. The tattoo is fairly crude. It's it's just a swallow in flight, and so it's actually become a, a mottled blue. And it's it's migrating. And every now and then, I think about getting a, a cover up or getting it revised, and I think no, no, I'm I'm going to leave that there. And for uh, for my my second book for Double Blind, I got an Ouroboros, uh, the the serpent which which eats its own tail, because I, I was 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 thinking w with uh, with that one w w with the narrator. One of the things he doesn't learn until f fairly late in the book is that joy and sorrow are 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 often often one one thing. They they aren't always polar opposites. And for Sky Waves, I have a crow and a raven on my uh, upper chest, which uh, the tattoo artist in question, um, her name is. Uh, uh, Alicia Locke, and she's in Truro, and she had come up with the ideas of these lovely spiky branches. Uh, I, I love working with tattoo artists because I might have an idea, but they but they're they're the artists, they're the expert. They're always able to uh, to, to, to come back with uh, with a really good idea. Uh, for deluded your sailors, I have a uh, I have an old typewriter with a compass rose coming out of it, a couple of cabbage roses next to it. And for this Marlowe, I ended up with a peacock. There's um, a peacock in in the novel, and birds are are are, are, are very important in there's image patterns. And the peacock actually is also a bit of a nod to, to Flannery O'Connor, uh, who kept peafowl, whose work I, I admire very much.